Jacinda Ardern has spent the day in Tonga visiting a school that was badly hit by Cyclone Gita as the New Zealand government unveiled an extra $10 million in immediate aid for the kingdom. It's less than a month since Tonga was battered by the cyclone, which destroyed hundreds of homes and its 125-year-old parliament building and damaged more than half of its schools. That's on the main island. Although the purpose of the trip is to introduce Ms Ardern to Pacific leaders, questions about China and its influence in the region through the hundreds of millions of dollars of aid it hands out have never been far away. Our political reporter May Heron reports from the Tongan capital, uh, capital Nuku Alofa. Children lined the driveway of Farsi Government School in Nukualofa and sat in makeshift tents as they welcomed Jacinda Ardern today. The Prime Minister was visibly taken aback to see firsthand just how bad the damage was from Cyclone Gita. Here at Farsi School, several classrooms are badly damaged. Music blares outside as Jacinda Ardern walks inside one of the classrooms. This one has no roof. All the beams are exposed and the wood is now rotting. She turns to me and says, you can still see all the pictures on the walls. The children have been forced to work outside in packed tents, supplied by UNICEF and shipped from New Zealand. But you can see the effort that the teachers have made to you know, put posters up and the children's work up. But in a, a tent um, uh, like the ones they have here, where they have two classrooms working together, so 60 students, the teachers are telling me they alternate between um, reading and oral work to try and not disturb one another. It still must be very hard for the kids to concentrate in there, particularly with the heat. The principal, Pumana Hui, says she hoped New Zealand would rebuild the classrooms. We encourage the kids, eh? you know, this is the things that we have now and wait for the, di for the next time, maybe someone come and help us to rebuild our house for the future. And today the government announced help was coming in form of $7 million to help schools and an extra $3 million for fixing power lines. Jacinda Ardern met with the Tongan Prime Minister, Akalisi Pohiva, this morning and described the discussions as really positive. But two prominent Tongans are out of the country, the Tongan King and Deputy Prime Minister, both visiting China, which has committed aid of more than 170 million US dollars, much of it in loans in the 10 years to 2016. The International Monetary Fund has noted that Tonga, Samoa and Vanuatu all have significant debt to China, but Jacinda Ardern says that topic was not discussed with the Tongan Prime Minister today. Our focus has been on New Zealand's relationship with Tonga rather than Tonga's relationship with anyone else. Foreign Minister Winston Peters has also announced $11 million of funding to complete the first stage of the upgrade to Nukalofa's electricity network. The Tongan Power Chief Executive Robert Matthews says most of the CBD, where 4,000 people are still without power, is still on the old network and an upgrade would make a big difference. As compared to that old system that you see up there, which is a whole bunch of separate cables, so now they're all combined into one big cable, so uh, normally that would take... You know, it could take days to restore a whole street like that, so it happened within just minutes. It was another fleeting visit to Tonga. Jacinda Ardern is now heading to Rarotonga, the last stop on her Pacific mission trip. In Nukalofa for Checkpoint, May Heron.